because we refuse to be labeled. I don't know who I'm talking to. Those of you who are running businesses, run your businesses like they're first class. You're running your supermarket. Run it like it's a first class supermarket. The feeling somebody should feel when they enter a big supermarket in the United States is the same feeling they should feel when they enter your little supermarket somewhere in Nansana. Give them service that they will say that this person has something on them that makes them different. That is why when we're teaching, we take our time, we make research, we read, you reconcile notes, you understand, you connect dots, so that when you start preaching, do you know, somebody came to me and told me, up to today, I didn't think you were Ugandan, I said, aha, 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 some people think I'm from Nigeria, some people think I'm from where, somebody told my auntie that I was raised, not, she, she said, the English, this boy speaks, it cannot be English, told her, oh no, they don't know, but raised in Uganda but I refuse to be labeled glory to God put your hand on your head and say I refuse to be labeled choir when you're singing let them ask is that hill song is that elevation is that funeral That's why when they are dressing, I want them smart. Who are these guys? No, they are from Africa. Which country? Uganda. I see choirs of Europeans and Americans putting on t-shirts and jeans. And I told them I don't want t-shirts and jeans here. Dress like you are children of God. Put on modest dressing and look smart for the kingdom of God. We don't live in the shadows of labels. No, the gospel has labeled us. He says, I shall make you a wonder. That's a label. <laughs> oh, everything must be done in excellence. If the service begins at nine, nine, we are starting. Whether there are two or three people. Excellence. 